welcome back to the channel I'm Ray check it out I have another product for my review quick disclaimer the people at Ulanzi reached out to me and asked me if I was interested in reviewing their product here the MT43 so it was supplied to me free of charge now to let you know guys I have been a user of the Ulanzi products for a while before they started pretty much sending me or corresponding with me alright I bought the Ulanzi GoPro cage for my GoPro, love it. I bought the Ulanzi iPad Pro clamp, love it. They recently sent me Ulanzi Pad 3, love it. So guys, I am a fan of Ulanzi. So this is gonna be unbiased, but I'm gonna be honest, I am kind of biased because I like their products. I'm just gonna keep it real, all right? If you are a first time upcoming photographer or videographer or YouTuber, Look at Yulanzi, all right? In my opinion right now, they're doing very well. Very reasonable price, and I don't think you'll go wrong. So I'm just going to get it out there. So, done, all right? But what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to look at this product here. I'm very interested in this one because this product is designed for your mirrorless cameras, pretty much. All right, it'll definitely handle your iPhone, your GoPros, what have you. Excited to have it because as you can see in front of you, I have a Nikon Z6. Absolutely love this camera. And I have on it is a 24-72.8. So I'm interested to see if this here can handle this here. So consider like, subscribe. Enough of me talking. Let's do an open boxing. Let's get into it. Let's go. right now before we even get started again I just got it so it's still in the plastic let's just do a quick open boxing and see what's in it okay just to start it off this is how it comes packed and what I like about Yulanzi which is their packaging is very on point very on point guys all right now as you can see here there's a little diagram of a camera on top of the tripod okay a little more information on the side so very really not disappointed on their packaging presentation is key all right so let's do let's open this up all right this side very nice okay let's, uh, let's see let's get this open this way now this tripod is geared to the videographers or video vargas us youtubers pretty much all right or blogger all right here we have the quick directions all right no words just all pictures so very nice to have again it's pretty much a no-brainer what we have here some allen allen keys all right could never have too many of these great and right now as you can see here's the item well packed well designed presentation is very much on point when it comes to Yulanzi and what I like about Yulanzi also if you can see this theme they gone with now with the black and red very nice just just like the three you got the black with the red which gives a different I don't know just a different touch to it I really like that design so I just noticed that how they came out with it all right so let's take this out wow it's packed in you guys they really stepped up their game and here it is very first impressions all right this is my first time holding it very nice <laughs> i'm not gonna lie very very nice i'm very impressed with it just holding it. i haven't utilized it yet guys this is my first time holding it but i'm telling you it does not feel cheap so that's how it looks here see so if you guys get some closer look to it so what we're gonna do let me uh let's just take it step by step we're gonna open it up gonna put it through its paces and I'm going to show you how it looks in certain situations. So, stand by, all right? Let's start at the bottom, guys. Well, let's start with the legs. The legs has some type of rubbery feel to it. Definitely good for gripping. I definitely like. And again, when you t expand it, it only locks in one position. They're not adjustable as far as... What's the word I'm looking for? They're not really adjustable as far as traditional tripods that go up and down. They just lock in one place. So... You expand it like such and you take this little collar here and you have to rotate it and I don't know if you can see it right here that's where it locks in all right 
So once you lock it in, it's pretty much stands up just like that. That's simple. All right. Again, this is strictly I consider a flat or a tabletop tripod. All right. So it's for flat surfaces that gives you that nice stability. And also what I like about it, again, it's all rubberized here. So as you look in the bottom of the tripod, it has a little in, like a little foot here, which is nice. Again, rubbery cuts down on vibrations. So I think that's a definitely a good look on that design. Another thing, as you notice, and when you read your manual, you turn this little clock collar right here, and once it's untightened, then you can pull it out to expand it. It gets a little more distance. All right, very nice. And again, the material is aluminum and copper fiber. The design of this is very nice. The ball head itself is very nice, very responsive, aluminum, all right. This part here, again, unloosen it, tighten it, one locking position. I kind of like, I like how it's cut between here and here. So therefore, if you need to uh, move your device, either portrait that way or that way, you don't have to worry about rotating. That's a nice design. And what else I can show you guys? Again, just, just like any other tripod, this is your locking, your locking mechanism for your arch style. So you expand that, that comes right off. Definitely a nice design. Now, what I like about this, again, with their other design, arc style, fits in here very nicely. You can tighten it down, it goes with it very nicely. So I don't know if you can see that. As far as holding an iPad or any other small device, this will hold it, this will hold it no problem. Again, expand this out. Bring this down, okay? Again, guys, just uh, want to give a quick look at it. Span this down, just like this. Very nice. Again, very nice design. So again, if you're in the market for a decent tabletop tripod, so far this is looking very nice. All right. Again, and it works well with their own heads. And the distance to give you some perspective, this is iPad Mini. It's about the same height as an iPad mini. The space this takes up is minimal, very minimal. All right, and again, if I put a little tape measure, say about eight inches high, that's pretty much it, all right? Okay, so let's move on. Let me uh, demonstrate it now. As you see on their website and on the Amazon page, it's really profile for your small mirrorless camera. Now, I own a Nikon Z6. I'm going to profile how this looks on here. As far as a GoPro, it'll fit this no problem. So I'm not going to even demonstrate that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put this to the side. Now, they said the maximum weight you should be using is about 5 point, I think 5.5 pounds on this. Now, just to let you guys know, what I'm going to demonstrate, I'm going to be using my Nikon. I have a 24 to 70 lens on it. And the weight on this is says about uh about three pounds i guess three three pounds and 4.9 ounces so three and a half pounds this is the weight of this all right now that's including the body lens and i have an arc style clamp on it so three and a half pounds is the weight of this camera i definitely recommend if you guys going to be using this this ball head or th this tripod and using the arc style with a camera, definitely get a some type, some type of arc L bracket for your camera. It makes it much easier to put in and lock in. All right, opposed as having using their clamp. Cause this clamp, in my opinion, is a little too small for at least my setup. All right, if you have it like an Ace, um, what's that? Uh, a the Sony small ones, the A sixty threes, the A sixty fours, which is a little more lighter. Maybe you can get away with this, but I still would recommend. Get a L bracket for your mirrorless. All right, so let's do this. Tighten this, or bring this around, and then demonstrate how this looks. And what I like about it, again, you turn it, this part here, lock it right in, and this camera is not moving anywhere. And that's pretty much how it looks, guys. I hope I can give you a good look on how that looks. What I do notice with this, again, I have the 24 to 70 2.8. This is a, you know, not a light lens, so. 
if you are going to use this, all right, definitely when you line up, as you can see, I have my lens going the same direction as my as my legs, so to keep that weight in front. All right, okay. Again, when using this type of lens, keep it over the legs so you can have that. You don't have accidentally tipping over. Now, I'm hitting it a little bit toward that direction, and it's pretty stable. Now, we will run into problems if you keep it between. See how it's between the two legs? You tap that, it's gonna go. So. Be careful on utilizing this lens in that fashion all right all right see it's gonna go so definitely what I don't like about it it's not so much it's not so much the design of it it's the uh, how I'm using it now if I use my 24 to 74 lens which is a shorter much shorter lens then I wouldn't think I would have that problem let me demonstrate that just to let you guys see it so there all right so lighter package now when I tap it it's a little more stable as you can see that all right and again it's just for this type of lens so use utilizing this tripod with bigger lenses is all about technique all right it can handle the weight but you got to be careful but I would definitely recommend it for the smaller package bodies smaller lens it's just a safer way to shoot and that's pretty much it guys I guess I wish, I wish I could add anything more to it. It's definitely a good look. So if you're looking for a nice tabletop tripod, take a look at this one. I don't think you'd be disappointed, especially if you don't want to spend a lot of money. Now, look close to $90. That's not cheap, <laughs> but to tell you the truth, it's not that expensive compared to the other tripods I own. All right, I own Manfrotto tri tripods, Pro Photo tri tripods, which are a little more expensive. So this is definitely a good look for the price all right again will I take this out in the field again it all depends on the environment all right you can take this outdoors but again it's not ideal for I believe like landscape shooting but again if you're doing cityscapes city walks where you have level ground I don't see any problem utilizing this type of tripod but it will shine for your tabletop this is ideal all right guys as you can see, I'm how I have set up on this tripod. What I'm demonstrating here is my Nikon Z6. Now, again, I have an arc style type of clamp on it right here, which is ideal. So, if you're definitely going to pick this up, I highly recommend to get your arc style type of clamp for your your mirrorless or your DLSR again, because it makes it much easier to put this on this tripod again demonstrate this and again what I like about this again I could adjust it anywhere with one hand use your other hand to lock the profile in and there there it is all right again when setting up just be conscious on how you position your your camera as you can see this empty space is gonna tilt and that's based on any type of tripod that you have alright so just be careful but other than that if you position it in the right position put it in the right position so that weight is on here you have no problem so my opinion very nice tripod if this helps please consider like subscribe guys and I'm gonna end this video with a recommendation that is something if you're in the market for one consider picking this up alright guys Check on the next one. Later.